Rolls Royce. <laughs> Should have been mine. Sweet ride. Always wanted one of those. Hey, if you don't mind me asking, what do you do for a living? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I actually own several cafes. Well, my mom and I own several cafes. Here. Take a card. We just opened up our 10th location. Wow. I see. You and your mom? Yep. Wait. Tara. Is that you? Oh. Brian. It's been a while. Oh my god. So does this mean that he's my... Yes. He's your son. But I, I don't understand. How can you afford all this? How did this happen? Well, you see, I'll never forget the day I found out I was pregnant. Hey, Tara, check out our new menu. Tara, you okay? Tara, is everything okay? What's wrong? What? Please tell me this is some kind of joke. No, Brian. I'm pregnant. No. You can't be. We can't afford to have a baby right now. Our cafe is just starting to take off. But maybe we can make it work. Being a mother... It's something I've always dreamed of. Well, what about my dreams? I've always wanted to be a millionaire and drive a Rolls Royce. How am I supposed to do that when I'm raising some baby? Please. I'm not getting any younger. I want to have this child. Look, it's either me and our business or this baby. I can do this cafe without you, so you choose. Tomorrow, we're going to the clinic. And then, there was that day at the clinic. Who would have known that would be the last time I ever saw you? Hi, Tara. Are you ready? Yes, she's ready. Look, if you need more time to think about this, it's perfectly fine. It's a big decision. Um, yes, I, um, uh, I mean, I don't know. No, she doesn't need more time to think about it. Let's just get this over with. Tara, listen to me. You are the one carrying this baby. It is your decision. Look, you listen to me, and I'm not going to say this again. It's either me and our business, or this baby. So what's it gonna be? You know what? You can keep your business. I have been struggling by your side, on your dream. And for how long? I'm keeping this baby. I'm gonna raise our child. And we're gonna start our own business. <laughs> without you. Is that a joke? Fine. But if you don't want to be a part of my struggle, then don't try and be a part of my success. After you left, I was all by myself. It was one of the most difficult times I had ever been through. But somehow, when our baby was born, and I held him in my arms, I knew I made the right decision. And as he got older, we decided to start our own business, Mom and Son Cafe. 
And with us working as a team, it became more successful than we could have ever imagined. So you see, that's how it happened. Wow. I can't believe it. My son. You must be Brian. I've heard a lot about you. I'm so glad. And, and now you're all grown up. And you've become a businessman, just like your old man. Look, Tara, I was wrong about everything. I should have been there for you and our son. After you left, the, the cafe just went downhill. It wasn't the same without you. But we could we could start over. Please? We could call it Dad, Mom, and Son Cafe. That's really not up to me. Son, it's your decision. Well, I was taught that if somebody isn't part of your struggle, then they shouldn't be part of your success. So I don't think so. Besides, I like Mom and Son Cafe. It has a nice ring to it. Hey, Darman fam, I hope you loved that message about how if someone's not there for you during your struggle, then they shouldn't be there for you during your success. I appreciate you watching, and remember, we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. And when you share my videos or tell others about them, then you're helping to change lives too. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.